So let me do this. I do have a little bit more flexibility on this call. Um, initial call discount here for you, sir. I'm able to save you an additional $120 a year by getting your monthly payments of just $59.99. Ooh, $59, Fifty nine. yeah. That... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're not here to put you in any type of financial bind, sir. The purpose of the coverage is to protect your budget from any surprises, you know? Especially with the vehicle being 13 years old, I yeah, think almost at 200000 Yeah, it's kind of being like in a financial bind right now, you know? You're like either choosing the Netflix or uh, the Disney Cho Plus, you know, when you're not yeah. working right now. Absolutely. But the, the kids wanted to watch that Aladdin guy, and I'm like, no, we're watching that Joe Exotic guy. We're watching Tiger King. <laughs> you seen the Tiger Absolutely. King yet? Um, I've heard about it. Oh, you got to watch it. That I'm not much of a TV type, though. Oh, you got to watch the Tiger King. I've been hearing a lot about it. I've been seeing the memes and stuff. Yeah, that Carol, Carol Baskin's a bitch. I heard. <laughs> yeah, that's I what I've been hearing, it. too. <laughs> need to break yourself. So before, sir, I go ahead, I need to tell you one thing, that for the call any purpose, we are over the recorded line, sir. This call is being recorded. Okay. So, sir, in order, in order to start the shipping of the meter, I just need to spell me your, your father's first name. Like, how does he spell his first name? Oh, his, his first name is uh, Jerry. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, what about the last name, sir? His last name is uh, Skidmarks. Skidmark. Yeah. Okay, how do you spell that? Okay, it's uh, S K I D M A R K S. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, so like, sir, like, what is your current residing address? Where do you want us to ship down the meter for you? It's at uh, <clears throat> sixty-one two. Uh -huh. Rockaway. Beach, Florida. All right, and what is the zip code over there? That's uh, <clears throat> that'd be uh, seven eight one zero nine. Seven eight one zero nine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you sure about the zip code? Yeah, I, I believe it's the right zip code. Okay. And uh, what is the city name? Like in which city? Oh, uh, like it's. The, in which city you are residing? Oh, Clearwater. Clearwater. Yeah. Okay, and well, what do you told me the zip code again? Oh, uh, yeah, it was what? 783216? 7, 8. I mean, uh, like, if you're telling me the correct one, then it must be started with a number 3. I mean, but you're in Florida. And it should be started with a three. Oh, I'm so sorry. That, that somewhere else. Yeah, that that was my other that was my other place. Wait. Yeah. Let me just look up. Let me have a look at that, sir. So. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I've been. I just been busy here in my uh, my new dance club. You know, trying to sanitize it before I could open up. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, well, like, what is the zip code of this place, or this address where you're re it's, residing uh, right now? It's 30165, I believe. 3065? Yeah, 30165. Okay. Yeah, I just spent all my Trump fun bucks, you know, getting all my dancers tested for COVID. I, I I hate to ask, like, are, are right now, I mean, you're, you want to play with me or what? No, I'm not playing with you. I believe that's the right zip code. Like I said, I just moved down here and opened up a club and helping out with my father. He has a, he has a little memory problems once in a while. Okay. But there's not, not like, such an address that you're telling me. What do you mean there's not an address? Uh, I just bought this place. Uh-huh. All right. So yeah, I'm just I'm just a working man. I'm trying to get my business off the ground here and get my women back to working. It's bad enough so to go. Is that a way? It's bad enough uh -huh. the government's make me put plexiglass over the you know the stripper poles. 
I think they're going to make me go. I can call you later. I think they're going to make me go cashless and have to install card swipes in the strippers' asses. No, I'm saying, is that a way I can call you later? Uh, you can try. I might, I might be gone and buying some bleach and stuff for some sanitary reasons. Sure. Surely that's not a problem, sir. Yeah. Thank you for your time and you have a nice day. Yep, no, you have a nice day too. Hi, sir. This is Brenda from the National Mobility Center. I'm required to inform you that this call is being monitored and recorded for quality and compliance purposes. So, to my understanding, do you agree on receiving information regarding orthopedic braces? Is that right? Yeah, I sure do. Perfect. So, here, let's confirm some information so we can send your braces upon doctor's approval. I have here that your first name is Jerry, J E R R Y. Yeah. Last name is Skidmark, S K I D M A R K. Actually, right? actually that's pronounced Skidmark. The Skidmark. Okay. Yeah, you know, like in your underwear, Skidmark. <laughs> okay, got it. Why, why is that so? so fu uh, why is that so funny? Because I've been growing up with all my life with that name, and every time I say that last name, people laugh. I mean, no, it's not like funny. It's just the way you say it. Oh. So you say it's, it's spelled S K I D M A R K? Yeah. Okay, the best time to call you is in the morning. Uh, no, actually in the afternoon. Oh, I, I usually okay. do my I usually do my volunteering in the morning. Okay. Understood. Yeah, I like to, I like to walk my okay. neighbor's dogs. Okay. Yeah, he, he he's handicapped, so I, I like to walk his dog for him. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The last so, last time um, he was trying to walk his dog, he was in his wheelchair, and the dog was just pulling him down the road. I felt sorry for the guy. Wow. Yeah, he looked like one of the Alaska dog sledders. I see. Yeah, it was it was a pack it was a pack of shit shoes shit shoes and chihuahuas. Okay. Yeah. Understand. Okay, no problem. So I see here. Um, I have a question, sir. Do you have your Medicare with you? Uh, no, actually, I don't. I'm I'm in the process of uh, cleaning up cleaning up my new, a new club I bought here down in Florida. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have your insurance information? No, I, I don't have that on me either, sweetheart. Uh, okay, okay. Because yeah. we would need that information to continue with the process. Yeah. Because um, when when do you think you will have it? So like, oh, I might, I might have it when I get back to my house. Okay, that's going to be when specifically? Oh, that would be probably here in a couple hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I will call you next week. Yeah, you call me next we week. Work. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Perfect. You, you give me a call next week, honey. Hey, are you happy Perfect. with uh, your that. current uh, working situation? Well, yeah. So far, you know, since COVID-19 came, it's been kind of hard. Working. Yeah. Okay, but, I was just yeah, making sure because we got to – I'm always looking for dancers at my club. I just oh, thought I asked. Okay. No. Okay. Now, actually, right now I'm feeling comfortable because I'm from home, you know. And all. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people like to work from home now. Correct. Yeah. yeah. It's easier. Mm-hmm. Okay, sweetheart. Anyways, you, I, I call you. Yeah, you call, call me. You next week, okay. Yeah, you call me next week, sweetheart, and we can uh, hook up and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank. Thank, thank you, you, honey. Bye. Sure. Bye-bye. From Prop Humanity. Hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Jerry Skidmark? Yeah, this is Skidmark, Jerry. Hello, Mr. Skidmark. My name is Sandra. I'm from the National Mobility Center. The reason, um, I'm calling you today as a follow-up call in regards to your back brace. I'm missing some information in order to finish the order 
to complete the order. Um, so can you please confirm the information that I have here? What's that? Okay, I have it here. Your name is Jerry Skidmark, phone number 80. Let me see. Date of birth is October 31st, 1968. Let me see if I have your insurance number here. Yes. You're experiencing back pain. Okay, I'm missing your address. <clears throat> yeah, I, I got I got pain like all over. I'm sorry? I, I said I got I got more than just back pain. Okay, besides your back pain, where uh, where uh, what where are the other pain locations? Well, right now I'm sitting at home on the couch watching all the protesters and I got a massive protester boner. So you experiencing pain in your shoulder? No, I got a boner from the pr protest. Okay, let me check the insurance that you have here to see if it's uh, eligible to cover all the braces. One second. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. One more. One more minute. Yeah, it gets it's get it's get stiffer every time I uh, change the station to each news channel. Could th could that be possibly making it harder? Uh, what is the type of pain that you have? Oh, every every time I uh, change the stations to each news station, m my uh, protest boner gets harder. One minute. Oh my God, these fucking people. Sure, I'm sorry. I'm not able to understand the type of pain that you are trying to describe. Yeah, it's kind of hard to describe it because it's it's kind of hard. Okay. Mr. Uh, Skidmark, besides, uh, do you have a middle initial name? No. That's, that's it. That's my name, Jerry Skidmark. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, are you able to confirm, if I provide you the insurance number that I have here, are you able to confirm if it's correct? Yeah, I should be able to do that. Okay, I have 9-A-G-8-T as in Tom, E as in Edward, 5-M-K-7-2. Yeah. Okay, let me see... Well, in this case, I'm not able to verify the their insurance number. Uh, Are you, you told me? Uh -huh. You weren't, honey? No, I'm not able to. Um, uh, it's giving me an error, so I'm not able to see if you have total coverage for the orthopedic braces. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I, that's not the right number. Do you have the right number? Uh, it's I, it's in the other room, but I don't really want to get off the couch right now because I might miss something. Okay, when it would be a good time for me to give you a call back? Uh, give me a call back like tomorrow, say around like four. Okay, tomorrow at four. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy your yeah. Enjoy your program, sir. Yeah, I, I just I just hope this protest boner goes away soon. Okay. So I think it could do. I'll, I think it could be because I'm watching the news and I'm attracted to all the protesting. Okay. So I will call you tomorrow at four, so we can complete the order. Okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. No, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing super. How about yourself? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. I believe you're speaking as Mr. Skidmark. Quebec? Yeah, this is Jerry Skidmark. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, my name is Jake. I'm the one who's talking with you uh, on uh, Friday regarding your uh, joint support. Do you remember me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I, it's been it's a been little chaos down here in Florida. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, right now, sir, uh, Everything is more than perfect to you, as I mentioned to you on Friday. You are going to receive back support, knee support, and children. Oh, it, it's perfect. It's perfect where you're at. Sorry, what did you say? You said it was perfect where you're at. Yeah, everything is more than perfect for you. Oh right man, now, it's like going to receive... it's complete chaos, man. And here, man, my uh, my club got got looted last night, man, during the riot. Um, sorry for that. Yeah. Oh my. All my plexiglass got stolen, all my toilet paper, mm -hmm. 
Oh, my toilets? Can you believe they stole my toilets? I'm really sorry for that, sir. Yeah, I, now I got so, nothing. Uh, now I got nothing to go on. Ah, okay, so I understand that. I'm really sorry for that. I wish uh, you can cover that. But right now, um, as I mentioned to you, I have a good news for you. Right now, you are going to receive uh, your joint support totally covered by Medicare. Well, and that's... Your fees will be covered for you. Well, that sounds great since I'm going to need that back support to pick up all this broken glass and stuff from all these young kids running around. Uh -huh. and I'm really sorry for hey, that. Hey, can you believe this? Right now? I, w I was at home watching all this on my cameras from my house, and some guy on Old Beast Around pulled up on his wheelchair, the power wheelchair, you know? Come on, guys. I will meet you back at the van. All right, just take the stuff. I'm going to go back and get some more stuff. I'll meet you guys at the van, I swear. Two minutes, I'll be at the van. I just got to get up here and pick my ass real quick. Ooh, yeah. I I, I call him obese arounds, and he, he just got off the thing, pulled his keys out, started scratching his ass, and then he walked in my store and stole all my toilet paper. Then he walked right back out and got on his... Got on his obese around and hauled ass out of here. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? I don't think that guy's disabled at all. Ah, yeah, I believe that. Uh, uh, yeah, I think he's that. faking it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry for that too. But uh, right now, we just uh, make the last step for you to finalize your process over the system. That's why it sends for you to a healthcare specialist. He will ask you about the pain that you have. And after that, you will be done, and you will receive the support within five or seven business days to you done it done. Okay? Okay, that, that sounds groovy. That's perfect. So right now, uh, you have your Medicare card. Okay. No, that, that, got, that, got took in the, that got took in the looting. Uh-huh, yeah. You remember Fida, correct? Yeah, I, I remember her. Okay, so right now, I will send for you for, to her, just to finalize the process for you. Okay. Okay. Just, uh, I need you to grab your Medicare card because there is a problem in your Medicare number. So I need you to grab your Medicare card. Okay. Okay, take your time and grab it handy. I will be holding the line for you. Say hi, sir. Yeah. Hi, sir. This is Frida from the National Mobility Center. How are you? Uh, not too good. I'm sorry to hear that. So, um, required to inform you that this call is the monitor recorder for quality and compliance purposes. Yeah. So, to my understanding, you agree on receiving information regarding orthopedic braces. Is that right? Yeah, some, some guy called me and said I was eligible for these uh, back braces. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're talking on um, Friday. Um, I don't know if you remember. Because you told me you didn't have your um, new insurance. I mean, because... We were having issues with insurance here. Yeah, that, I, I, I was t I was telling you I was going back to my house. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was going back to my house that day when you called. And I, Correct. Yeah, Correct. I, let, I left my card at, at my business, my dance club. Mm -hmm. Well, over the weekend. You don't have it with you right now? No, over the weekend, the looters came in and they uh, trashed my place and they, uh, they, stole, my, they stole my America card. Mm, okay. Yeah, I, my my business is trash now, man. They 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 took that. it. They took everything. I was gonna have a grand opening this weekend. Have like the okay. largest indoor salad bar you ever seen in your life, and they okay. took everything. Okay. So you don't have the, your car with you then at, the, at this time? No, it it's stolen. I, it's been reported stolen this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understand. I'm sorry that you have gone through that. Well, we'll be calling you later. Uh, probably would take a while for you to get a new car. So we'll be calling you later um, to confirm, okay? <clears throat> oh, okay. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Bye-bye. And you have a lovely day. You too. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sad for what, what I had to go through this weekend. I see. Yeah, it's just really bad luck. But I, I will be uh, following on, following with you. Okay, so I'll yeah, give me your call. No, no damage where you lived at, right? No. Oh, that that's good. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm sorry that we are going through this right now. But yeah, yeah don't worry. I will call you later, okay? So we okay. can get your prices. You, yeah, you Thank call you. me later. Have a good one. Okay. Sure. Ha have fun scamming Bye -bye. today. Hello? 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 Heart Member Services, how are they today, sir? I've been better. I've been better, perfect, sir. So I see you are responding to get all over info stage on a credit card, is that correct? Yeah. Perfect, sir. And here I can see from past six to eight months as a consumer, you are doing an excellent job. You have been making your payments on time. In fact, sometimes try to pay more than the monthly minimum payments, correct? Uh, no, I, I, I've been trying to. Okay, perfect, sir. So, on the basis of your good credibility and your good payment history, today you are eligible to get a lower interest rate on your existing credit cards, okay? Yeah. So now for the qualification purpose, which of the cards do you think you owe the high balance on? Is that your Visa card or a MasterCard? Yeah, I'm a Visa. Okay, and how much do you owe? Oh, probably 7500 Okay, perfect, sir. So the next step, I'm going to pull up your billing sheet in your Visa card. Okay. So all I need... So all I need to make sure that your card is still valid. Verify me the expiration date, just the month and the year. Well, I don't have that card on me right now. Okay, so did you find the card? I can hold the line for you. Actually, that, that card got stolen over the weekend in my shop. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, I got looters in my shop this weekend. Okay, so decide this visa card. Do you have any other credit cards? <laughs> Uh, no, all, all my other stuff got stolen too, including all my uh, merchandise I had here in my store. So you don't have any of the credit card right now, okay, right? No, no, not on me. Like I said, it all got stolen. Somebody, somebody stole it with the dildos. So did you remember what is your expiration date and the card number? Uh, no, like I said, that that's all le was left in my office and... Uh, uh huh. Somebody, somebody came in and stole the blow up dolls I just got from Russia and China. Oh, that's all. Administration, how can I help you? Uh, what's going on with my number? Yeah, I will. Have you got any case number or reference ID number, Brenda? Uh, who? Have you got any case number or reference ID number? Uh, what kind of case number? All I got was Did this. Can you verify your first name and your last name? Uh, my first name is uh, Jerry, and my my last name is what Skid. Is your last name? My last name is Skidmark. 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 Yeah, Skidmark. I D N A R K. Yeah, Skidmark. Please verify the last four digit of your social security number on a recorded line. It's uh one seven six two. And your zip code? Uh, nine eight. 408. Your first name is Jerry, okay? It's J E R R Y. Yeah, Jerry. I run I run a Skid Marks and Sons down here in Florida. Florida. You stay in Florida. Yeah. I run I run a local dance club down here down here in Florida. The reason the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filled on your social security. Yeah. We have got an order from the law to suspend your social at this right moment. Okay. Because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. Huh, I wonder, I wonder if it's... Many calls from your law. I wonder if these, if those guys that were, that looted my club last week during the riot stole my cards. They stole my social security cards. I wonder if, they, if it's these guys. Which guy has stole your cards? The last week during the riots... Yeah, I got I got hit by the riots a couple weeks ago, and my club got looted, and they uh -huh. stole they stole my business information, and I have my social security card in my office. Do you know there is an arrest warrant issued under your name for what? suspicious criminal activities like money laundering and drug trafficking? No way. How'd you find out about that? Yes, definitely. We are trying our best to find out. 
Yeah, how'd you find out about that? I bet I probably had that fucking Karen. No. That Karen, dancer Karen of mine's got a big fucking mouth. Don't use profanity. This is a recorded line which will be played in the courthouse. Oh, okay. So do I need a lawyer? Jerry. Do I need a lawyer? You don't have to go. No. We are the person that we are handling your case right now. Oh, you're, you're the guy on my case? I you, did you receive? Yes. Do you have a piece of paper and a pen handy with you? Yeah, I got a piece of paper. Are you playing? Are you fooling around? No, I got it right here. I'm serious. Yeah. I, I want to know who stole, if Karen, if Karen stole my information. You will be arrested once I've passed your information to your local sheriff department. Are you? And you will be arrested, yes. And you will be arrested in this case for nine years. Nine years? They've already convicted me? Yes. No way! Yes, yes, that is the reason I called you out. Oh, they've already convicted me for nine years? Call your man. Yes. Oh, in what, what court? Not a problem, okay? You're fooling around, I will pass your information to your local sheriff department, okay? No, I'm not fooling around. I, I want to know what can I do to save me from going to jail for nine years. There are two criminal activities under your name and under your social security number. Like money laundering and drug trafficking. Okay, yeah. There are nine bank accounts which has opened, yeah. There are nine bank accounts which has opened under your name. And thousands of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally. Which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we are the Social Security Administration has filed case against you for money laundering and drug trafficking. And we are the person that we are handling it. Drugs trafficking, like cocaine. Oh, cocaine? Uh-huh. Well, I, yeah, I don't dabble in cocaine. Okay. What I will do is, Jerry, I will transfer this information. I will fax all the information to your local sheriff department. They will call you back, okay? Oh, okay. So what should I do in the meantime? Hello? This is an automated call from Amazon. We have detected some suspicious activity from your account. We found unauthorized login attempts. We strongly recommend please do not access your account on your device for security reasons until your account will not get fixed. For more support, choose to our Amazon support team. Press 1. Welcome to Amazon Sport. How can I help you today? Yeah, what's going on with my account? Yes? Yeah, my account got hacked or something? Yes, last night we received 20 multiple login notifications from overseas country like China, Russia, Germany. Oh, not China. Okay. Can you please tell me, did you share your account password with anyone else, like your family members, friends? No, just me. My family, we just been gone all weekend to handicap land. Okay, okay. Yeah, unless somebody, so, got, somebody got our account there. It's okay. Yeah, because I used my card out there a couple times because uh, my kid, he wanted to go to the uh, handicap rodeo there and get pulled by the dog sleds. Okay, I understand. So what we gonna do, we gonna block those people who are using your Amazon account from overseas. Do you have any laptop or desktop nearby you, like computer, PC? A uh, laptop? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got a laptop. Okay. Can you please go ahead and turn it on your laptop? Yeah, I can turn it on for you. Okay, just turn it on and let me know. Yeah, just give me a, give me a couple seconds. It's a little older laptop. It takes a little bit to fire up. It's okay, no problem, sir. Yeah, I'm still running XP on the thing. Okay. I'd still be running Windows ninety eight, but that stuff's just uh, a okay, little too old now. It's okay. Okay, it's firing up. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah. What, what do you need? Now open your web browser, sir. Like Google Chrome. Yeah. Op I I don't usually use Google. Okay. I'm more a Yahoo. Okay. So okay. can I, so I can I use Yahoo instead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm on Yahoo. Hello? Hello, this is Sasha from Visa and MasterCard Services. Calling about your credit card, it appears that now you are eligible for the 0% interest rate on your account. So please press 1 now to talk to live representatives. I'm doing great. This guy got home from handicap land. I will provide you with the discount of ten or maybe fifteen dollars. Okay. Well, fifteen dollars. That's right. Yes, sir. That's why I'm asking you your exact. Oh shit! Service, that's okay? that, that, That's an extra twenty. That's an extra twenty-four pack a month. Yes, sir. I can get drunk and beat up my dog now. I'll provide you with the discount of ten or maybe fifteen dollars per month. Okay. Yeah. I, then you stay connected with the that's, direct, direct TV. That's more than my wife gives me a month for allowance. She only gives me like five bucks. She, okay, sir. She's a tight ass. Do you, you, do you have old? Me with your last do you have an old lady like that? That's a tight ass that won't give it up. Only give you five bucks a month. Specs you to mow the yard. Yes, sir. What should I do? So can you so can you please provide me with your last month bill? No, I, I, like I said, we don't have no cable here, so we don't have that information anymore. Like I said, we just we just canceled it like two days ago. I wish you would have called me on Monday. Okay, sir. So what can I do with this old lady? How 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 can I change your attitude? Do I have to like go down on her more or what? What can I say to you, sir, Dal? The final warning message is intended for you. This is Officer Mark Hammer calling you from the Social Security Administration. We have received orders to suspend your Social Security number on an immediate basis, as your social has been found suspicious for committing fraudulent activities across the United States. In case you feel this is an error, press 1 to connect to a Social Security agent. Social Security Administration, this is Officer William Clark. How can I help you today? <clears throat> My Social Security number was being used. And they told me to press 1. Hello. Yeah, what's going on with my social security number? May I know I'm speaking with? Can I have your first name and last name? Uh, my first name's Jerry and my last name's Skidmark. Okay, okay. Jerry? Yeah. The, re the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security. Because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. No. What, what, what kind of stuff? Do you have any knowledge about this case? No, I don't have no idea about any of this. Did you receive any call in your local police station? No, I just got this phone call today and it said press 1 because my uh, social security number was being used. In order to give out any more information, I need to verify I'm speaking with the right person. So I would request you to confirm your date of birth and your social security number so I can pull out your file and tell you the reason of this call, okay? Okay, my, my date of birth is uh, 27 of uh, 72. 72. And yeah. your social security number? Well, don't you already have that since you guys are calling me? What? Don't you guys already have that since you called me? That's verification, Mr. 3311. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Now I would request 
you grab a piece of paper and pen handy. Note down my name and my badge ID. Okay, you, you got a badge ID? Yeah. Were you like a cop? Write down my name. Yeah, what's your name, sir? My name is William Clark. William what? William Clark. C as in Charlie, L as in loser, A as in apple, K as in king. Okay? Oh. Yeah, because there I thought you said your last name was butt plug. Clark. C as. Oh, because it sounds like you're saying plug as in butt, butt plug. William Clark. And my employee ID is S N N seven four. One so, slow, slow down a little bit. I'm a little hard of hearing. All the, all the years of the club work. I'm, I'm in the club business. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I run a couple clubs here down here in Florida. It's called Skid Marks and Sons. You ever been there? My ID F N F what? F N N N N seven four seven four one seven one seven four three. Four three. Yeah. So what what kind of officer are you? Are you like a sheriff or something? I'm I'm the calling from Social Security Administration. Your social has been found many suspicious activities. Well, what kind of activities? I tell you, I will now read out the legal charges of your case file. Yeah, read 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 out all the read the full charges out. Please listen to me carefully. I am doing so. Do not interrupt me. Okay. You will yeah, we got we got all afternoon because my club my club got shut down for for coronavirus because it's kind of it's kind of hard to Don't it's kind of hard to keep Don't people six feet apart at the strip club. Please listen to me carefully. After that, complete my talking. You will be given a fair enough chance. Okay. Yeah. Just don't don't sound so pushy. Once I have completed my part and you are not authorized to disclose this information to any third party until this process <clears throat> is over. What? I, I can't... Line for I can't tell the, tell anyone about this phone call? No, no, no. Should, should I contact my lawyer? As you wish, sir, this is a recorded line for evidence purposes which will be played inside the courthouse, okay? Oh, so this can be played inside the courthouse? Yeah, yeah. Before I move further, I just wanted to know, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Uh, yeah, I've been there a couple times. Do you know of anyone who visits Texas frequently? Yeah, I got, I got a, a club out in Texas, too. I got clubs all over the South. Okay. Have you ever lost your phone or wallet in the past? Uh, yeah, actually, my club in Florida got looted during the riots in uh, June. You remember the riots we had? Okay, okay. Mr. Your legal charges state that your photo has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. And oh, we are taking no. this issue to the FBI headquarters. As we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. The investigation started when we found an abundant car on the South border of Texas. And the the, the south border? Some blood and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't don't you mean Mexico? Please listen to me carefully. What? The south border of Texas is Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And car contains some blood and drug used inside it. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. Okay. Well, I thought I thought Trump built a wall so we can't go to Mexico anymore. Please listen to me carefully after that. Yeah, because I could have swore the reason why I voted for Trump, he said he was going to build a wall. This is a very serious condition, mister. There were two address linked with the title of the vehicle and the addresses which were in the city of Rowlett was raided by the U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered eight pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. Cocaine? And this entire paperwork has your name on it and thousands 
of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us as a social security administration of the state of Texas has filed case against you for drug trafficking and as well as money laundering. Okay. Is there any possible way the guy who stole my I think I know who the guy who stole my account. It must be Tony Montana. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was? It was Tony Montana? Please listen to me carefully after that, you talk, man. Okay? In this regard. Flashback to the Yayo. And we have found that your banking contains genuine records and your social have no other complaints in the past. That is the only reason we try to reach you before we take any legal action against you, okay? Well, I think you better be going after that Tony Montana guy. Because it sounds like he's the one that's running drugs, not me. I'm just I'm just a guy who runs strip clubs down here in Florida, in Texas. And I got a couple in Alabama. Hello, hello. So if you are agreed with the help of the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case, then only we can put your cases and arrest for and on hold. Well, I don't want to be a snitch. Snitches get stitches. Please hold the line, man. Hello. How you doing, cockroach? This is Tony Montana. Hello? Hello. Hello. This is Michael here from your cable company. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Just out cleaning some oh, pools. That's perfect. And uh, which one are you are using for your TV and for your internet service? Uh, my TV? Yeah. I believe I get that through uh, one of the satellite pro providers. All right. Uh, and which one you are using with your internet service? Like which cable ser which service you are using for your internet? Uh, I think I get that from Dish also. So, sir, uh, do you face any kind of problem in our service, like in Dish TV? Yeah, every time a thunderstorm comes through, you know. Oh, all right. I do apologize, sir. I can definitely solve your problem. And one more thing, sir. What's about your monthly bills? Like, are you happy and satisfied, or it's pretty high for you? Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I got I got a local preacher here in town that takes care of that because I take care of their pool for them. Uh, all right. Like, you don't pay your bills? Uh, no, the uh, local preacher's wife does that because I provide an extra pool service for them. Uh, all right. And you don't pay a single penny? Uh, no, not not with the cable bills. They they help me out on that because I help them out. Uh, all right. So, Mr. Paul, thanks for your time. Have a good day. Bye. No, you can help me. Yeah. Maybe we can I, lower. I can, uh, maybe we can lower the bill I, for him. Yeah, I can lower down your bill. Yeah, cause they're kind of mad at me right now, so uh, I might be able, I might have to pay this bill now. All right. Give me a moment. Uh, all right. Let me have a look. There we. All right. All right. Are you there, sir? Yeah. I run the uh, world famous Cabana Boy Jerry Skidmark service. I clean the pools. Right. Skidmark, eh? All right. Yeah, exactly. Skidmark. Skid yeah. Okay. You know, like in your shorts, right. you get a skid mark once in a while. If you don't wipe. And uh, Florida, Nebraska? No, that's Florida. The state of Florida. Oh, uh, yeah, state of Florida, right. Uh, okay. Plan stream Florida, and after that, what's the zip code? The zip code's uh, 9234. Yeah, 348. Exactly. And how many TVs you are using? Oh, I got about three, three TVs. And got, you have all your favorite channels, or you want some more channels? Like, if you want some more channels, then I will give you more channels free, of course. Like, you don't need to pay a single penny for your that channel. Yeah. What? What? How much is the uh, the uh, you know these uh, the special channels for adults? Yeah. Like, uh, if you didn't have any kind of your favorite channels. So you can let me know. I can give you a few of course. Yeah, like, uh, how about, like, Skinamax? You guys got Skinamax? All right. You want Cinemax. All right. I can give you Cinemax free of course, okay? Oh, free of cost? Yeah, don't you worry. You don't need to pay a single penny for that, okay? Okay. And you have HBO? What's about the HBO? Uh, I don't really care for HBO. 
don't you worry. I will. I just, I just want the, I want the channels that show the boobies. All right, I will give you the premier movie channels like Cinemax and other than. So just give me a moment. What about the booby channels? Uh, all right, just give me a moment. I can let you know. Yeah, I will give you Showtime movie channels like Stars movie channels, Epix and Stars Encore. Uh, two channels free, of course, Stars and Cinemax. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, because I want to. I like to save money because this new girlfriend of mine I met at my dance club called Skin Marks and Sons down here in Florida. She's really, she's really a handful. I, I clean her pool for her on the side, you know. Her her husband's really religious. He runs like a one of these fancy schools. Okay, so I'm going to pull up your billing history as well, and it will take just five to ten seconds, so please stay on the line. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Uh, by the way, sir, do you remember how much you last bill? Uh, last my, bill. my last month's bill, mm. uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not too sure because, you know, the, my girlfriend and her husband takes care of that since I take care of them, you uh, know, in their pool. All right, don't you worry. Let me check by my side. I can let you know how much your last month's bill. Yeah, let me know how much that bill was. Yeah, I can let you know how much bill. All right? Yeah. Give me a moment. I can write it, I can write it off on my businesses. Yeah, you, uh, first of all, you have to grab a pen and a piece of paper. I will give you uh, some information about myself and about your work order. Yeah, give me, give me some information about yourself. Yeah, first I'm, of all, write down my name. My name is Michael Christopher. Oh, hey, Michael Christopher. You got two first names. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like I have Ricky Bobby. Your name is uh, Michael, uh, Michael Christopher. Yeah. Well, how you doing, Michael? Uh, uh, I'm fine, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm just, I'm just out here cleaning pools, you know, for the local pastures. Uh, -huh. all right. Yeah, I, if as long as I clean their pools, I get to clean out their wife, you know. Actually, sir, my system didn't cover uh, the last row of your social security numbers. So, are you sure the last row of your social is three zero six three, right? Yeah, I, I believe so. That's my, I believe that's my social. All right. Maybe it's, maybe it's under maybe it's under her account. Oh, it's under her account. Let me have a look. Yeah. Let me check. I, <laughs> all right. So you have if you have any other number, so please write fine. No, this is my only uh this is the only number I got. It's my uh, business account number for my uh, dance club and my pool service. Any bill paper with Dish TV? Do you have any bill paper with Dish TV? No, I don't. But my my phone's about ready to go dead on me. Uh, and, and I'm gonna need to put it on the charger because uh, right. I got so I got like that time. yeah give me a call back time. give me a call back Bye. in a couple hours I got a couple more uh, pools uh, AK ladies to take care of this afternoon and uh, I'm just gonna uh, go uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go to their house real quick and put the money in their bucket and leave all right and uh, when uh, like uh, give me the best time when I can give you call a uh, 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 talk with your girlfriend. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go put my money in the bucket in her and leave. So, uh, I'll, give me a call uh, back. Like, give me a call I back and say. Uh, so. All right, I will give you a call back yeah. after a couple hey, of hours. Uh, how, my name? What's my name? How, how, your name's uh, Michael Christopher. Christopher, right? Yeah, exactly. And I will give you a call back after a couple of hours. And that time, I want to talk with your girlfriend. Yeah. Hey, Michael Christopher. Uh, how's your pool? Does it need clean? Pardon me? Does your pool need cleaned out? I'm always looking for a uh, new bit, new clients. You know. No, no, don't you worry about this. I will give you a call back. No, I'm asking if your pool. Hand. I'm asking if your pool needs clean. Pool needs clean. Your pool, your swimming pool. You own a swimming pool. Uh, yeah, swimming pool. What is, what is about swimming pool? Does it need cleaned out? I run a I run a cabana service here in Florida. Uh, no, like you can clean it. Uh, like it's up to you. All right, I will. I will give yeah, you a call back after a couple of hours. I got. I got a cock hole special going on here for uh, ninety nine ninety five, and I was just curious uh, if I you're can, interested. Uh, I actually, sir, I will definitely give you more information after a couple of hours when you will okay. be ready. Okay. Yeah, you decide. You talk to your wife about that. Tell her. Let her know. Uh, I got a cock hole special. Uh, right. I usually. I only usually uh, give it to like pastures, but I'm willing to give it to you for a low, low price. I'll cut that price in half. I'll go forty nine ninety five today. Uh, don't
don't you worry, Mr. Jawi. I will give you some discounts on your monthly bills, and I will definitely load on your bills. So don't you worry about this. And first of all, I need to talk with that person who pay your monthly bills. Okay, right? I'll see if the I'll see if my girlfriend wants to come back home with me after I'm done cleaning her out. Yeah, when when she come back, so like your girlfriend when she come back at your home, and I can talk with her. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> all right, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye, yeah. sir. Bye, bye. Hello? Uh, this is Michael here again. Do you hey, Mike, what's up? Mr. Jerry. What's up, Mike? Hello? Yeah, what's going on, Mike? Uh, nothing, sir. Like, uh, no, uh, can I talk with your girlfriend now? Oh, actually, uh, we broke up today. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, right after Just right after you called. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, she told me. Jowie, like she told me her her and her husband had to work things out, and that we couldn't see each other anymore. Uh -huh. And okay. the be best thing to do is just get get my pool supply yeah. and leave. Uh, what did you say? She said the best thing to do was get my pool clean and stuff and leave. Uh -huh. Okay. So, Mr. Jowie, can I go ahead to give you some discount? Yeah. Well, Are you free now? Yeah. Well, what's uh? What kind of discount can I get? Because I don't think they're going to be paying that bill anymore. No, no, you don't need to repay your bill. As I can see, what's your last month bill? Do you remember now? Uh, like I said, that was all in her name. They took care of that because I took care of them. One of them deals. <laughs> so that's the reason I am asking you. You ha I have to talk with her because she is a account holder and she pay your monthly bills. Yeah. So that's the reason. Yeah, I better not call her anymore because I, her husband walked in on us a couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah. We we're, weren't supposed oh, to be right. fooling around anymore because actually her husband was the one that asked me a couple years ago to get, her, get it on with her. And he used to watch in the corner, but... Nah, I guess not anymore. We can't do yeah, that Mr. stuff. Mr. Uh, okay, Mr. Jerry, uh, how do you spell your last name? Please come again. Uh, it's Skid Skidmark. S K I D M A R K. Yeah, Skidmark, right? Yeah, you know, like and like in your underwear. Yeah, and your Long Beach, and after that, Florida. Yeah, down in Florida. I got I got a couple right, nice. I got a couple businesses down here in Florida and throughout the South called Skid Marks and Sons. It's a dan it's a dance hall for the elderly women. Like six oh three Long Beach, Florida. And yeah. Oh, uh, sir, what are you talking about? Like, uh, you're okay. S T B U R G. Like yeah, Spurg, right? Yeah. Sorry, sorry if I'm slurry and I've been drinking. Since I got home, you know, to kick the blues. She she broke my heart. Right. They they used to pay a lot of my bills, and I don't know what I'm gonna do since the, you All know, right. like Spurg is your uh, girlfriend name, right? What's that? Peterberg. Like this is her name. Yeah, that's one of my girlfriend's name. All right. And hey, did you, you uh, have any kind of any kind of bill at your place? And you don't remember how much you are paying? Right? No, like I said, the old the uh, my ex girlfriend took care of that, and uh, hmm. I left I left the money in the bucket and I ran this morning. Right, no, like how you are paying your bills? Oh, she pays. They they were paying it. I didn't have to worry about it. I just I just had the okay. box and the satellite hooked up here. No, no, right, no. You uh, you have a breakup with her. So how she can pay your bills? No. Oh, see, they're already paid for the month, so I just have to worry about next week how my next month's bills get paid. Because my club shut down. Okay. My club yeah, shut down. Moment. They shut yeah, down my club because of coronavirus. Uh, all right, just give me a moment. Uh, Mr. Calvin is there. He wanted to talk with you. Yeah. So stay on the line, okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for staying on the line. This is Calvin here. How are you? Uh, I'm doing all right. Okay, so Mr. Jerry, uh, let me know what's your concern. What, what, what do you need? What's your concern, sir, about the service? You have a dish network at your home, right? I don't have no concern. 
I just think that guy has a hard time understanding me. Uh, you can let me know. I can understand you. you okay. So, uh, you're not using Beach Network right now? Uh, yeah, I'm using it. But the problem is it's under somebody else's name. So I don't have the account. It's under my ex-girlfriend's name. We just broke up this morning. Oh, this morning? Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I went over to clean her, clean her pool out, you know, and her, her her husband had enough of us, and she told us we had to break up. <laughs> uh, why, why, did, why, why did you break up, by the way? With this? Oh, yeah, we're, we were in a relationship for about seven years, and I, I first started as her pool boy, and... Uh, like a year or two ago, things got kind of kinky. Like her husband wanted to sit in the corner and watch us. I wasn't really into that, but they were paying my bills. So I was like, what the hell? Oh, I can understand. By the way, what do you do? What do I do? I uh, run a couple uh, clubs here in Florida called Skid Marks and Sons. And I also run the Christian Cabana Pool Boy Company. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a jack of all trades. Oh, are you a playboy? Yeah, I'm a little bit of a playboy here and there. I got I got a couple girlfriends. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so she can uh, like take care of your expenses, right? Yeah, I, I have to call that. I probably have to call Mary now and ask her if she can cover my account next month. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah, because my dan my dancers ain't working because of coronavirus. You know, the strip club ain't the strip club shut down. Uh -huh. It's lucky. It's lucky my dancers receive Social Security because they're all elderly. Because uh -huh. that's oh. ki that's the type of clubs I run is for the elderly. Because you know that okay. you know those baby boomers like to stare at tits too. <laughs> right. You like okay. you like them bouncing in your face, right? Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. So uh, what can we do today? Nothing. Everything is to be good to go. You can find a new one, girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to find me a new woman to pay my bills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, sure. I guess I wasn't uh, putting the money in the bucket for her hard enough. I can understand. Actually, uh, I'm looking for a girlfriend. Do you have any for me, like any of your like friends? Well, actually, you can come to, when my club opens up here, and I think they're going to give us the go-ahead in like 60 days. Uh, in your club? Yeah, my, I got I got plenty of women in my club. Always looking for a looking for a young what, stud. What kind of club are you running? Like oh. it's a dancing club. Yeah, it's a full it's a full on uh, nudity bar. Oh, it's a bar. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's a and it's a, a dance club. Oh, club. Yeah, it's a dance club. Hmm, I see. Okay. Called skin. It's called Skin okay. Marks and Sons. I see. Okay, so let me come up at your club. So. Do I find a girlfriend there? Like I know, I also you can understand that. Yeah, it's just like uh, sometimes they'll give you a private dance. You know, it depends on the woman what she wants to charge. Oh, okay. Yeah, they might they might give you a little they might give you a little extra or something something you know. <laughs> oh, perfect! I see. Okay. Yeah, we got a real we got a real religious clientele. You know, they like to come and be, really be uh, spontaneous. Oh, I see. Yeah. Real nasty okay. people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, sounds good. So, uh, so wh what's okay. your name? What's your name, sir? My name is Mr. Calvin. Mr. Calvin? I'm going I'm to put yeah. you on the VIP list so when we open up. Oh, that's perfect. Thank yeah. You, Jerry, I'll, I will be there, like, after a couple of days, okay? Okay. I will contact you. You contact me, okay. and we'll get you hooked up in the jiggly room. Oh, jiggly room? Yeah, they'll be bouncing all over you. You'll be knocked out and be motorboating for months. Oh, that's perfect. You like the motorboat? Okay. Motorboat? Uh, motorboat? What motorboat like? Motorboat. It's where you put your face between their titties and go... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I like it. Some people do it between the butt cheeks. <laughs> Okay, I see. Okay, uh, then I will be there. Uh, I will try that, okay? Yeah, that's that's the garbage boat out of Staten Island, New York. Oh, I see. The, okay. the stink uh, what's train. What's your bar address, by the way? What's your bar address? Oh, my bar address right now? Mm -hmm. That's uh, 609 Long Beach, uh -huh. St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah. 609. 
Yeah. We're right down there where they parked uh, the cruise ships on uh, Channel Avenue. Oh, I see. Okay, near the Channel Avenue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, what's your bar name again? It's called Skid Marks and Sons. Oh, okay. Skid Marks and Sons. Right? Yeah. We got the top, top, top 65 and older dancers of your life. <laughs> Okay, that was good. Thank you so much for time, Mr. Derry. Yeah. And I will give you a call when I will be there. Okay? All right. Well, good to see you. We're going to help. Hopefully, we see you, brother. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. Bye. You too. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> month. Congratulations. On your excellent payment history, you now qualify for a 0% interest rate on all your credit card accounts. This is a limited time offer and you must respond. Press 1 now to speak to our qualification department. Thanks for holding card services. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Sunshine. How are you doing? Fine. And I believe you are responding to get zero interest rate for your credit cards? Yeah, I sure do. Okay, so on which of your credit cards you want to get the interest rate zero? Is it your Visa or Master? Yeah, it's my Visa. Your Visa, and the balance on your Visa card is over $2,000, correct? Yeah, it's way over that. Okay. Now, for the verification purpose, can you go and grab your Visa card handy and verify the expiration date? When does the card expire? Yeah, hold on a minute. I'm uh, heading on back down to the uh, DEA drug value back. I got I to gotta get it out of my wallet. Okay. Yeah, they're buying back drugs, and I figured I'd get out of the game now. I got almost jacked last weekend. Okay. Yeah, but this is a second. Okay. Yeah, I get, look in here in my wallet. Yeah, it's kind of hard out here. Hard out here making a living nowadays. I better go straight. Okay, yeah, I, f I found it, sir. Okay, so what's the expiration date on your Visa card? That's, uh, it would be, uh, 1 of, uh, 21. 0121? Yeah. Okay, and have a look. Is there the same card that starts with number 4? Yeah, it, it starts with 4. Okay, so verify me the numbers after 4 so that I can make sure I'm talking to the right card holder. Yeah, that's, uh, 4, 9... Richard, you are providing me the wrong card number. It is not matching with the records. What, what do you mean it's not matching with your records? Who should it match with? Repeat the numbers one more time. Oh, okay. That's uh, 4 9. Yeah, it's an invalid number. What do you mean it's invalid? I used that at my cousin's club last weekend down at Skidmarks and Sons. So which bank you received this credit card? Oh, uh, let me check on it. I can't remember. The first national card. But, sir, you are not providing me the correct number. Yeah, that, that's the correct number. That's the number I got on my Trump card. So what do you mean it's not matching your records? I don't know. It's the first national bank of o Omaha. Okay, so just provide me the correct number so that I can go ahead and activate the services. Yeah, that's uh, 4916-5545-6832-1609. It works perfectly just fine because I used it last weekend at my cousin's club down in Florida. I don't know. It is not matching with my records. Huh. Well, it should match because I was using it down at Skidmarks and Sons. Well, in order to activate the services, sir, you need to provide me the correct number. If that is the correct number. That's the car card number I have on my card. No. Yeah? What do you mean it wouldn't match your records? You. Have who, a nice day. Hey, who do you know who you're talking to if it doesn't match your records? Okay, call the card in. You just start matching with my records so, so I cannot help you. Have a nice day. No. Bye. Well, what do you mean it can't help you? Maybe you should uh, send me to your, one of your um, managers or something. Maybe they can help me. Fraudulent activities under your social security number. Also, we will suspend your ID. So if you want to know about this and talk to our representative, please press 1. Social Security Administration.
situation. How can I help you? Yeah, some fraudulent activities going on with my card. Yeah, I believe you must have received an automated voicemail. You yeah. have pressed one and we got connected here, correct? Yeah, that's correct, sir. Oh. All right, confirm me your name, your first and your last name, so that's where I can pull up your file. Uh, my, my first name's Bart. And what's the last name? Uh, my first name's Bart, and my last name's uh, Cocaine. Bart Cocaine? Yeah. Are you sure that's your name? Yeah. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. That's my name, sir. Where are you living, then? Where do I live? Yeah. I, I live it down here in Florida. You're living in Florida? Yeah. Do you know the address in Nebraska, 48? Yeah, that that was the old place I used to live. Do you know any Paul? Uh, yeah, I believe so. That's your name, right? Maybe. Then why did you say that your name is Bart Cocaine? Because I, I'm under an alias right now. You're under L E S. I'm 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 using that uh, word uh, using that name as a uh, to hide my identity because I'm I'm running from people. Yeah, I'm running from people right now. Be ready to get arrested. No, I haven't got arrested yet. You will get arrested. I'm well, telling you that. Oh, how, how's that gonna happen? Because I'm having an arrest warrant under your name. Oh, are you? Yeah. That's gonna be real weird. What What's the name gonna be under? What's the name going to be under? Paul. Oh, yeah? Well, that, you have to go to the cemetery to arrest him because he's been dead for about seven years. You're living in Bath County, right? No. I live down here in Florida. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just heading out, hanging out in my hotel room. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I've been held up here for a couple days now. Uh, well, I just have to update you, Jeremy, that you are being eligible to receive some free pain creams and a rotating walker as an extra benefit of your Medicare insurance. Oh, uh, ro a rotating be... walker? Sorry? A what kind of walker? A rotating walker. Oh, one what? Well, what kind of walker is that? It's uh, one with wheels. Oh no! Oh, one with wheels and brakes. Yep. Is it that one of that you can sit down in? Yes. Oh, that that sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. And this will be delivered to you by Wednesday at your home mailing address, which is two zero six one Love Lane, Hollywood, California seven four one two eight. Yeah. And this will be delivered to you with no cost. You don't have to pay for it, okay? Okay, no cost. I don't have to pay for it? Yes, there's no cost. And uh, what what day? Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, I'm going to be probably in my hotel room until after the election. You'll be paying what? I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have to be in my hotel room until after the election because I got the... Uh, Social Security Administration after me. They got they got a couple warrants. I see. Okay. Yeah, issue forwarded me. Not a problem. Yeah, because I went down. Then, I went down to the DEA, DEA drug buyback or take back. You know, where you take back mm -hmm. your pills. Yeah, I brought. Exactly. Yeah, I brought a couple uh, keys of uh, Pix, Pixie Ducks down there. And, uh, okay. Well, I just have to ask you this, like, uh, where exactly do you suffer with pain on your joints? I mean, is it just all over your, you know, joints or just the back and the knees that hurt? Yeah, I got uh, pain all over from when I was in the game, you know, running around from the law. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Now, what we are doing here is, you know, we're... This is coming to you as an extra benefit of your insurance, which is why you don't have to pay for it. So I need to check your insurance eligibility. So you need to grab your red, white, and blue color card right away. Yeah, I'll and see. with the Medicare number. I'll see if the America card's in my wallet. On the American Express. Yeah, my, my America. Your Medicare red, white, and blue color card. Yeah, that's the color of the color of America, red, white, and blue. The flag. Oh, uh, yeah, but you need to find the health insurance, health care card. Yeah, I call it the America card because it's red, white, and blue. 
now the one which is red white and blue but it's medicare health insurance yeah I'm looking for uh, that's that's my america card okay but i don't need that one that's not it which i'm looking for i'm looking for the one which is yes red white and blue but it has to be a medicare health insurance yeah red red white and blue america no i don't need that card yeah that that's the card i that's the card i use at the doctor's office they always ask if i have my america card because that's your because it's red white right, private insurance yeah and I it's red white and blue medicare it's red white and blue it's sir red white and blue but i yeah. work for government and this is coming to you from medicare government not from your private insurance yeah i have nothing to do i have nothing to do with your private insurance i need the medicare government red white and blue color medicare health insurance card yeah that's that's america red white and blue america uh, yes sir please grab the red white and blue color. well okay let, let me check in the let me check in my wallet okay checking right now i've been up for a couple days you know kind of scared ever since that I got that social security call. It's been been a tough couple weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I don't. I left that card at home with the missus. Um. Okay. I'll have to call you back then. Yeah, you give me call back in a few days. Uh, I have to. I'll have to call you back this week itself because this this is just available until this week. Oh, it's only for like a couple. Of, Couple of days only. Yeah, Pr like promotion. Almost two days because this is coming to you as an extra benefit period. Ah. And your insurance, your insurance is currently serving you an extra benefit period for yeah. who are being qualified. Because I could use that walker to carry around my duffel bag. Exactly. Yeah. When I'm not using it to sit on it. Mm hmm. But. And okay, I sir. I'll call you back tomorrow. Yeah, well, you can get it. I can be your help. Well, what what time tomorrow? Say about this time tomorrow. No, early morning, like uh, say ten o'clock. Yeah, that's early not morning. that's not gonna work for me. I got I got people coming over tomorrow, at that time. At ten o'clock. Yeah, I gotta meet somebody here in my hotel room. Okay, tell me the earliest. The early uh the I say the late. I'm probably gonna be here all all morning dealing with these with these guys if the deal if the deal goes down good okay how about 11 or maybe no 11 so how about a 12 yeah say say yeah after lunch because i don't know if these guys i don't know if these guys are going to want to have lunch we might have to order some room service not a problem all depends how good this deal goes down i gotta I'll try calling you by 1 30 is that okay now yeah yeah that sounds good Okay, so I'll give you a call by one thirty. Make sure you answer that and share the card when I call you, so that we just do it very quickly. Yeah, I'll call. I'll call the wife after we hang up and see if she can give me that number. If she Absolutely. if she answers if she answers my phone call, she hasn't been answering my phone calls lately. She's kind of mad at me. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, okay. Try to speak to your wife if she does get the number. Yeah, I'll try to speak to the old lady. <laughs> okay. Do you have an old lady? Okay. <laughs> no. I'm oh, that's either. good, sir. Yeah, I hate it when they won't talk to you. They become real ball breakers. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was really nice talking to you. And uh, okay, well. Yeah, see you I'm. Tomorrow. I'm waiting for my pizza to show up here at my hotel. What is that? I got I got a pizza coming. Like I said, I've been hanging out in this hotel room ever since I got that social security call last week. They said I had warrants. I they told me I had warrants out for my arrest. Oh, what pizza did you order? Oh, I ordered me a pe this a pepperoni pizza. A uh, pepperoni. Yeah, with that a, your favorite. Yeah, with with a six with a six pack of beer. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of bored. It's kind of bored up up here in this hotel room. 
Okay, for now I have a phone uh, phone call to make, so I'll take your leave for now, and we'll call you tomorrow. We'll talk about it. Okay. What What was your What was your name? Daniel Rogers. Okay, Daniel Rogers. Uh, I expect your calls tomorrow. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, my my okay, pizza. Mm -hmm. My my pizza's here. All uh, good. Okay. Your pizza. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, good. I'm gonna order one for me. Yep. Okay, Daniel. Yep. Bye bye. Call from the Department of Social Security Administration. This message is intended to contact you regarding a legal enforcement action executed under your social security number for suspicious and fraudulent activities committed in the state of Texas. And we just suspended your social security number. Ignoring this will be an intentional second attempt to avoid initial appearance before magistrate, judge, or grand jury for a federal criminal offense. This is the final attempt to reach you, so if you want to know about this case, just press 1. Department of Social Security Administration, this is Officer Austin Black, how can I help you? I uh, just trying to sleep, but I got this phone call saying my stuff was stolen. Mm -hmm. Come for me with the case file number in order to pull up your records in my system. I didn't get no case file, I just got this automated call. All right, so in that case, I need you to verify me with a first and last name, my along with the social security number. My first name's Donnie. Yes, and your last name? Uh, Cadence. Cadence, right? Yeah. Can you confirm me with your social security number? Can you reconfirm with me once again for the confirmation? Uh, <clears throat> four oh five six six seven seven one. Can you confirm me with your social security number? Yeah, repeat, repeat it back to me. I'm half asleep here. You're trying to place an officer on this recorded line. Hope you appoint a good criminal lawyer for yourself in this matter. Yeah. You'll be able to represent you inside the courthouse. All right. Hope you have a blessed day. Yeah, that's great to hear. So, sir, I just want to know, like, do you suffer from any pain in your back, knee, ankle, shoulder, or wrist, like once in a blue moon or sometimes? Yeah, I got, I got pain. Yeah. So, sir, I will help you to get braces for your pain so you can get a better relief from them and they are free of cost to you, okay? F free? Yeah, we are, yeah, it's free, sir. That's, that's sweet. Yeah, I hope that sounds great to you. Yeah, it sure does. I, it's pretty, it, the cost of living is getting outrageous. Yeah, so because of the corona pandemic, the Medicare is giving free braces to all the medical holders, right? Yeah, yeah, especially with this pandemic, yeah. I can't have Christmas at my house this yeah. year. Because cause our mayor in town canceled Christmas because yeah. Santa's a super spreader. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for these kids. Right. Okay. And so you have a Medicare part A and B, correct? Yeah, I got America card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I gotta I gotta find it first. Okay, so go on. Yeah. You can hold the line. You can find it then. Okay. Yeah. How's your day been going, yeah. sir? Yeah, my day is going very great, sir. Thank you for asking. That's that's good. You all ready for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, I am super excited for Christmas. Yeah. We we were until our till they shut down Christmas this year cuz the whole pandemic and Santa being a yeah, yeah. super spreader. My my kids want me to leave out it's, My kids want me to leave out some uh, milk and cookies and and a couple face masks for Santa on the roof. Well, you are going you find your medical card, okay? Okay, I will just repeat it by myself. Yeah, repeat it back. Three, yeah, three, A, one, I, correct? Yeah, that that's correct, sir. Okay, just wait a moment. Let me check out, check your eligibility, okay? Yeah. Yeah, because I really need these braces. They could really help me, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, you got any cream? You want cream? Yeah, I like cream. Oh, I got I I get some chafiness once in a while in between the legs, being in the wheelchair. Oh. 
Yeah, I could really use some cream once in a while for chafing. Oh, oh. where do you apply your cream, sir? Oh, I, I apply it in between the legs, in between the cracks and crevices. Oh. Yeah, sometimes I got to fold back some extra skin. Oh. You, you okay, sir? You're breathing kind of heavy. No, no. Okay, I was just making sure. Your first name is Sadion, right? Samuel, right? No, my name's Donnie. Oh, what's your first name? Donnie. And what's your last name? Uh, Cadence. David, D-A-V-I-S? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Bonnie. Yeah, I'm speaking with Bonnie. Bonnie David. This is Donnie. Okay, it's a D-O-N-N-I-E? Yeah. Okay, and I have your Medicare ID with me. It's a three... A, A is an apple, number 32, right? Yeah, that's that's correct, sir. Give me a one quick moment. It's showing me incorrect. Please, one moment. Yeah, I, these braces are going to be awesome, sir. I can't wait to get them. Oh, yeah, you have a Medicare yeah. Part A and Part B. Yeah, I got Mer America Part A, Part B. Okay. Yeah. You don't have any other insurance? No, I just got American insurance. Okay. But that time also, my uh, your Medicare ID is showing me it's correct. Yeah. No, I also got a GoFundMe. Does that count for insurance? You have a new Medicare ID? No, I got a GoFundMe. ID with you. I started a GoFundMe to pay for my medical bills because insurance don't cover what you actually need. So I had to start a GoFundMe. But I should have started it in my like dog's name because he would have got money. Because people don't get money, pets do. Okay. Uh, please one more time, uh, Mr. Donny. Donny Davis, right? Yeah. Where are you calling from? I'm from Florida. Oh, Florida? Florida, Jacksonville. Yeah. My cousin's got a club down in Florida called Skid Marks and Sons. Okay, okay. Give me one quick moment. Yeah, please stay online. Yeah. What What part of Florida? Jacksonville. Jacksonville? Yeah, my cousin's, yeah. Cl my cousin's club's down in uh, Tampa. Oh, Tampa? Yeah. Nice place. Yeah, I've been there one. Uh, I've been there a couple times. Oh. He runs the top sixty-five and older dance club for the elderly. You know there are there are one a temple. What's that, sir? You know uh, there are uh, one. Yeah. Jackson, Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little it's a little humid there in Florida. Yes, yes. I just remember chafing a lot when I was down there. Oh, your Medicare ID that time also showing me incorrect. Oh, it's incorrect. it's incorrect. It's incorrect. Oh, that should be incorrect. That's that's incorrect. the right one. That's the card I got. One more time, you just uh, verify your Medicare ID number. Go slow. No, that, like I said, repeat it back to me. I repeat it. One more time, you repeat. Yeah, you repeat it. And I'll repeat it back to you. Yeah. Okay. Three. Yeah. Number three. three. Uh, number three. One. Okay. 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 Number zero. Yep. Okay, you motherfucker. It's Christmas, sir. We shouldn't hey, be. Motherfucker. We should be nice to each other. It's Christmas, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How you hey, doing, I sir? What's that, sir? Me, me no speaker. You want me to do what every hour? Your mom? I want. Yeah, I want to fuck your mom every day along with your friend. Hello? This call is from the Department of Social Security Administration. This message is intended to contact you regarding a legal enforcement action executed under your social security number for suspicious and fraudulent activities committed in the state of Texas. And we just suspended your social security number. Ignoring this will be an intentional second attempt to avoid initial appearance before magistrate J. 
judge or grand jury for a federal criminal offense. This is the final attempt to reach you. So if you want to know about this case, just press one. Yes, your call has been transferred to Department of Social Security Administration. Officer Richard Thompson, how can I help you? Somebody stole my card? Yes, that's correct, Jeremy. Like to tell you the reason behind the call is to... So now, there has been case file in the state of Texas. Your social security number has been used for this kind of fraudulent activities. So, Judge, do you want me to provide you the details regarding this case? Yeah, provide me the details, because I like to know what, what the hell is going on. Okay, so, Jeremy, your last name, how do you spell your last name? Now, this is Jerry Skidmark. Sir, how do you... Jerry. Sorry, how do you spell your last name? My my last name is Skidmark. It's S-K-I-D-M-A-R-K. S-K-I-D-M-R-K? Yeah. Jerry Skidmark. Okay. Just hold the line, okay, sir? Let me pull up your file so that I can tell you the reason behind the call. Yeah, I'd like to know what's going on in Texas. Okay, hold the line. It's probably my, probably my nephew. Okay. I think it's my nephew. So, what, what happened? No, I think he said somebody stole my stuff and is in Texas. Yes. Well, what's he doing down in Texas? There has been two allegations under your social security number for drug trafficking and money laundering. Yeah? Were they loving dying it and doing it in Texas? Yes. Yeah. Wondering. Like, uh, do you? Just tell me, sir. Just help me with your address. Well, what's that, sir? What, what do you need? Help me with your address. No, I'm I'm down here in Florida. I run a couple of clubs down here in Florida called Skid Marks and Sons. Are you taking uh, Are you Are you taking a drug, sir, over there? What's that, sir? Can, can you speak up a little bit? I can hardly hear you on my phone. Hello? Yeah. Yes, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, are you taking a drug over there? Taking what over there? Drugs. Drugs? Cocaine. cocaine. No, I don't use cocaine anymore. You gotta be about stupid to use cocaine at my age. That stuff make your heart explode. Okay. So who's running cocaine? So can you tell me with you, sir? I'm not running cocaine. I run... I run a couple strip clubs down here in Florida for the 65 and older. Can you please give me one? Yeah, which bank are you banking with, sir? Uh, the bank of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Bank? Uh, Kentucky okay. Fried Chicken. You have 35000 in your chicken? Yeah, I got a couple. Like I said, I run a couple dance clubs here in Florida, you know, called Skid Marks and Sons. Okay, no problem. Can you tell me how much you have in your chicken? Oh, account? Uh, it, vary, it varies day to day because it's a cash business. Okay, you're my doctor. And you're flying. What's that, sir? Hi there. Hello, good day. This is Michelle. Access RX. How are you doing? I'm just driving back from a busy night at my club. Okay, sir, by the way, I do understand that you have a heart condition and interested in receiving a genetic heart health screening test. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Okay, so sir, we simply need to make sure that you are eligible to receive this genetic test kit. So please keep in mind that this phone call is being recorded for training and quality assurance purposes only, okay? Now go to me your first name. J-R? J-R. Yeah, mm -hmm. and my last name is a skid mark. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, sir, what year have you been diagnosed with a heart condition? Oh, uh, about 89, 91. I used to do a lot of partying. Here, sir? About 89 or 91. I used to do a lot of partying. And, uh, 1991. Yeah, and I, I did a little too much. I did a little too much partying one night, and my heart, my heart kind of exploded. Okay, sir. So what's the reason of your heart illness? Uh, too much coke. That's what the doctor told me back in '91. Do you have a irregular heart rate? Yeah. A heart murmur? Yeah, I got, I got all of them now. 
Okay, so sir, to check your eligibility here, you still have your red, white, and blue cards, right? Yeah, I got it somewhere. Okay. Re Okay, sir, so what is your Medicare card? Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm driving back from my club right now. I gotta check and see if it's in my wallet. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, just take your time. Yeah, no, no problem. I just I just blew past the uh, DUI checkpoint with a face mask on, so they couldn't tell I was drunk. Okay. Been a busy night at the club since we're open back up. Okay, sir. I'm looking. I'm checking the glove box right now. Okay, sir. Oh, where is he located? Uh, we're down here in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah, I run, I run a club with my dad named Jerry Skidmark. We run Skidmarks and Sons. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Okay, sir, do you have your uh, red, white, and blue card? I'm now? still looking for that red, white, and blue card. Okay. I see my car insurance, my registration. Oh, there, there's my wallet. I thought I lost that last night. No, I don't, honey. I don't got that card on me right now. I'm sorry. Mm, okay, sir. Is there any possible way for you to get your card, sir? Uh, it's pretty at home on the counter. So, like I said, I'm, I'm driving back from work. It was a busy night at the club last night with the vaccine going out. With the vaccine rolling out, we had a vaccine party. It was a vaccine slash holiday party. Okay, sir. Again, we're... we're is the CPO, oh, I mean, where is your doctor located, sir? Uh, she's, she's in St. Petersburg, too. St. Petersburg. So, uh, sir? Yeah. What is the best time for you to call you back for your Medicare card? Uh, give me, give me call, give me call back this afternoon after I get a couple, uh, hours of Z's. I gotta sleep, I gotta sleep a little bit. Like I said, I've been up, I've been up since, uh, 6 o'clock yesterday morning. Okay. So I will call you back later, sir. Okay. All right. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Okay, sir. Bye. Hello. Am I speaking with Jerry? Yes, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. My name is Hugo, and I'm calling on behalf of Senior Care. How's it going today, sir? Oh, I'm hanging in there. How about yourself? Hello, uh, Jerry. Mr. Skidmark. Uh, do you have barrier insurance, Mr. Skidmark? Oh, uh, burial insurance? Correct, Mr. Skidmark. Yeah, I got. I get it from this guy named Barry in Kentucky. Mr. Skidmark, uh, do you do you want to see if you qualify for a free quote? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Skidmark. Uh, in the past year, have you received any oxygen equipment and kidney dialysis, Alzheimer's disease, memory loss? No. Or surgery or internal cancer, Mr. Skidmark. No, I'm I'm good in that department. You're good. Okay, that's great. Great, Mr. Skidmark. Uh, do you have barrier insurance? Uh, not at the moment. I went and bought me a used cemetery plot. Okay, Mr. Skidmark. Uh, do you have a safe? Do you have a savings checkings account or a prepaid card, Mr. Skidmark? I, I I can get some prepaid cards. Okay, great. Mr. Skidmark, based on the information you give me, Mr. G Mr. Skidmark, you qualify for a free quote. A uh, free quote? One last question. Yeah, free quote, Mr. Skidmark. One quick question. Would you be able to afford payments of twenty-five to fifty dollars, Mr. Skidmark, if you were if you were to be able to be interested in this program? Uh, twenty twenty-five to fifty dollars for this would be what uh, to go for my burial. Yeah, yeah, no, if you were to be interested, would you be able to afford $25 to $50, Mr. Skidmark? I, I should be able to. Okay, this information, you qualify for a free quote, Mr. Skidmark, so let's go get your free quote. Oh, awesome. Awesome. This call um, may be monitored or no, recorded. How's everything going today, Mr. Skidmark? Hello, this is Hugo. I have Mr. Skidmark on the line. He's interested in getting a free quote. You both have a great day. Yes, yeah, Jerry Skidmark. Okay, okay, this is Chris. I am just calling you 2015 Toyota Camry uh, regarding Sphere. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I got my dance club back open again. Okay, 
This is the courtesy call regarding the year 2015 Toyota Camry. Still owner of that car? Yeah, I still got that. It's okay. a good car. Courtesy call. Okay, this is a courtesy call regarding to your auto warranty coverage option on your vehicle. Do you have any coverage option plan? No, I sure don't. You don't have any coverage option plan? No, I, like I said, I bought that car brand new a couple years ago and it's been a steady little car. Okay, okay. Uh, so do you have any mileage of your car? Any idea about the mileage of your car? All the miles? Yeah, I got about probably uh, 67,000 miles on it. Okay, uh, Jerry, this is a courtesy call regarding the auto warranty coverage option on your vehicle. Wait a minute. So, uh, Jerry, uh, do you have any check engine lights or fuel leaks on your car? No, I don't have no fuel leaks or uh, oil leaks. Or any after, modif uh, after modification? I put a little like, extra exhaust on it to make it a little loud, and I put a little spoiler on the back to make it look like it can go faster. Okay, uh, no, I'm just uh, talking about the oversized tires. Yeah, I got, I got a couple spinners on it. No, no, Jerry, I'm just uh, talking about the oversized tires. Have you modified your tires? No, I don't got oversized tires. Okay, Jerry, thank you so much for your time. I would like to re-verify everything we spoke about. The address is, uh, as you said, 201 MC Cab Street. Okay, uh, you own a car uh, we just talked about, which is 2015 Toyota Camry. Is that right? Yeah, I sure own that. Okay, uh, so uh, you don't have any check in your life or fuel leaks? No. Right? No. Okay, uh, so have you done uh, any after modification to your car as well as you said? Uh, like I said, I just put that spoiler on and the uh, okay. and the muffler oh. to make it sound like brrrr when you're driving oh, down the road. Oh my God, Jerry, I got your point. Uh, by the way, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. I, I will arrange a car for a senior specialist, okay? Oh, it, it's, all, hey, it's also got an awesome speaker system. Uh, you will receive a call back in the next 24 hours with my reference. My name is Chris. Will that be okay Okay for you? Okay, Chris. Uh, what, what state What state do you live in? Uh, we are living in New York. Oh, New York? Oh, that's too bad. I wish you were down here in Florida because we just opened up again, Skin Marks and Sons. We just got all vaccinated. We're having a hell of a party this weekend. Uh, no, I'm not a free weekend, so I can't join your party. Oh, you're going to miss out. We got, the, we got the top five 65 and older dancers throughout the Midwest okay. coming in this weekend. Okay, Jerry. Uh, by the way, I, I got your number. I, I will call you after one week, okay? They're going to be, hey, we're going to be knocking seniors down one titty at a time. Okay. Sure, I can't put you on the VIP list? No, no, I'm not free in, in, in this weekend. So uh, this is a recorded line. Uh, I can't uh, tell you about my personal things. Uh, so, Jerry, uh, uh, you will receive a call in the next 24 hours with my name. Uh, will that be okay for you? Yeah, give, give me a call back, and hopefully okay. we can change your mind by tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much, Jerry. Okay. Take care. Wish you good luck. Yep, yeah, you too. Thank you.